You said that if the Nuremberg principles were applied, every post-World War II president would be uh, indictable. That's probably true. Can we run, uh, run down them real fast? What did Eisenhower do that you would indict him for? Well, Eisenhower uh, overthrew the conservative nationalist government of Iran with a military coup. Uh, he overthrew the first and last democratic government in Guatemala by a military coup and invasion, leading to years of it. Uh, in Iran, it led to 25 years of brutal dictatorship, uh, finally overthrown in 79. In Guatemala, it led to massive atrocities, which are still continuing. That's after almost 50 years. Uh, in Indonesia, uh, this wasn't known until recently, but he conducted the uh, major clandestine terror operation of the post-war period up until Cuba and Nicaragua in an effort to break up uh, Indonesia, strip off the outer islands uh, where most of the resources are, uh, and uh, undermine the what was then considered as a threat of Indonesian democracy. Uh, Indonesia was too free and open. It was allowing a... Uh, political party of the poor to participate. They were gaining a lot of ground, so that uh, uh, Eisenhower supported and helped instigate a military rebellion in the Outer Islands. Uh, this is just for starters. Now, these are all indictable offenses. What about Kennedy? Kennedy was one of the worst. Uh, Kennedy, first of all, invaded South Vietnam. Uh, during the Eisenhower administration, uh, they had blocked a political settlement in 1954 and instituted a kind of a Latin American style terror state, which had killed maybe 60 or 70,000 people by the end of the Eisenhower uh, period and had instigated uh, uh, a response, a reaction. Uh, Kennedy recognized that it couldn't be controlled internally, so he simply invaded. Uh, in 1962, uh, about uh, a third of the bombing missions that were carried out by the U.S. Air Force in uh, uh, South U.S. planes with South Vietnamese insignia, but U.S. pilot. Uh, they author he authorized napalm. Uh, he began the uh, use of uh, chemical weapons to uh, destroy food crops. Uh, uh, they began programs which uh, drove millions of people into what amounted to concentration camps. Now, that's aggression. Uh, in the case of Cuba, it was just a massive campaign of international terrorism, which almost led to the destruction of the world, led to the missile crisis. Uh, and uh, we can continue. Again, these are all uh, indictable offenses. Well, Johnson. Well, Johnson expanded the war in Indochina to the point where it ended up probably leaving three or four million people dead. Uh, he uh, invaded the Dominican Republic to block uh, what looked like a potential democratic revolution there, uh, supported uh, the Israeli uh, occupation in its early stages. Uh, again, we can go around the world. Uh, pick your, take, them, take, say, Carter. You know, the I'll, I'll get there, but Nixon's okay. next. Uh, Nixon we don't even have to talk about. <laughs> we, we can skip that one, okay? <laughs> but uh, uh, Ford, then Ford. Well, Ford was only there for a short a time, but long enough to uh, endorse the Indonesian invasion of East Timor, uh, which became about as close to genocide as anything in the modern period. Uh, they pretended to uh, oppose it, but secretly supported, in fact, not so secretly. Uh, the, uh, the U.S., uh, dip, uh, for, uh, immediately after the invasion, the U.S. did join the rest of the world in formally condemning it at the Security Council. But uh, Ambassador Moynihan uh, was kind enough to explain to us, in his words, uh, that uh, his instructions were to render the United Nations utterly ineffective in any actions it might take to counter the Indonesian in great, uh, invasion. And he says proudly that he did this with considerable success. Uh, his next sentence says, uh, in the next few months, it seems that about 60,000 people were killed and then he goes off to the next topic. Uh, that's the first few months, went on to probably hundreds of thousands. Uh, sec uh, formally, the U.S. Uh, announced a boycott of weapons, 
but secretly it increased the supply of weapons, including counterinsurgency equipment, so that the Indonesians could consummate the invasion. That's just a short period in office, but that's indictable. Seriously, in fact, that's a major war crime. Carter? Carter uh, increased, as the Indonesian atrocities were increasing, they peaked in 1978, uh, Carter's flow of weapons to Indonesia increased uh, when Congress imposed a human rights restrictions. By then, there was a human rights movement in Congress uh, to block the flow of uh, uh, advanced weaponry to Indonesia. Uh, Carter uh, arranged through Mondale, vice president, uh, to get Israel to send U.S. Skyhawks to Indonesia uh, to enable Indonesia to complete what turned out to be near genocide, killing maybe a quarter of the population or something. Uh, in, the, uh, in the Middle East, uh, Carter just won the Nobel Prize. Uh, his great achievement was the Camp David Agreements. Uh, the Camp David Agreements are presented as a uh, diplomatic triumph for the United States. In fact, they were a diplomatic catastrophe. Uh, at Camp David, uh, the United States and Israel accepted, finally, Egypt's 1971 offer, which they had then, the U.S. had rejected at the time, uh, except that now it was worse from the U.S.-Israeli point of view because it included the Palestinians. Uh, in order to accept, get Israel to accept Egypt's 1971 offer after a major war and atrocities and so on, uh, Carter raised uh, aid, military and other aid to Israel to more than 50% of total aid worldwide. Israel used it at once in exactly the way they said they were going to do, as every sane person knew, uh, as an opportunity to attack their northern neighbor, first in 1978, then in 1982, and to increase uh, integration of the occupied territories. Uh, and that's for starters. We can continue. Reagan? I don't think we have to talk about that one either. I mean, Reagan is the first president to have been uh, uh, condemned by the International Court of Justice for what they called the unlawful use of force, meaning international terrorism, in the war against Nicaragua. Again, that's just for starters. Uh, they also, the Security Council, uh, endorsed it in two resolutions both of which were vetoed by the United States. Bush won. Well, uh, for, we can begin with the invasion of Panama. Uh, the invasion of Panama, which, according to the Panamanians, killed about 3,000 people, since it's never investigated. We don't know if that's true or not. Uh, this was done in order to uh, kidnap a uh, disobedient thug who had been supported by the United States right through his worst atrocities. Noriega. Noriega. He was brought to Florida and tried for crimes that he committed mostly on the CIA payroll. Okay, that's aggression. Uh, we could go into the details of the war in Iraq, uh, but uh, there were plainly opportunities for, they might not have worked, we don't know, but there were opportunities for diplomatic settlement, which the Bush administration refused to consider, and incidentally the press would not report, with a single exception, and Long Island Newsday, which did report the whole story throughout accurately, and is the only newspaper in the country to have done so. Uh, the uh, uh, Bush administration then did attack, and uh, the attack was uh, carried out in, uh, in a manner which is criminal under the laws of war. Um, they attacked uh, uh, infrastructure. I mean, if you attack New York City, and you destroy the electrical system, the power system, the sewage systems, and so on, that amounts to biological warfare, and that's the nature of the attack. Uh, then came a sanctions regime, which uh, it's mostly Clinton, but began with Bush, which is, by conservative estimates, killed hundreds of thousands of people while strengthening Saddam Hussein. That takes us off to Clinton, which that's the beginning, but that's by no means the end. Could run through it. Well, we can run through it. that one case suffices. All right. But there are plenty of others. Bush I mean, too. Well, let's take. Let's go on with Clinton. Okay. I mean, one of Clinton's minor esca minor escapades, very minor, was sending a couple of cruise missiles uh, to the Sudan, 
to destroy what they knew to be a pharmaceutical plant. There was no intelligence failure. According to the only estimates we have from the German ambassador and the uh, uh, director, regional director of the Near East Foundation, who does field work in uh, Sudan, both of them estimate several tens of thousands of deaths from one cruise missile attack. It's pretty serious. If somebody uh, did that to us, we'd regard it as bad news. And again, we can continue. Uh, during In the Middle East, for example, the uh, 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 Clinton began by declaring past UN resolutions, uh, in the words of his administration, uh, obsolete and anachronistic. Okay, so we're finished with that. No more international law. Uh, then comes a, poly uh, a period called a peace process, except that during the peace process, uh, Israeli uh, U.S. Israeli settlement, which means settlement paid for by the U.S. taxpayer and supported by U.S. military aid and diplomacy, continually increased. Uh, the, the most extreme year was Clinton's last year, the highest level of settlement, the highest since 1992. Uh, meanwhile, the territories were cantonized, broken up into small regions with uh, infrastructure projects and new settlement. Uh, I don't know what you call that, but it's under military occupation. And if anyone else was doing it, we'd call it a war crime. And again, we can continue. I wish to, I don't think we have to discuss.